Hey Capricorn. Sagittarius season with Venus in your sign for a while and Venus retrograde coming up as well by the end of the month right before we move into Capricorn season. So I've been thinking a lot about decisions. You'll probably have to make a few, but Venus retrograde, Venus and Capricorn will probably bring back some past people in most people's lives. For you, maybe and not it may not specifically be a physical person, although for some of you it will be. Though for most of you it will be about what those dynamics looked like. And how, if you're in a partnership or if you're in whatever you're in, how it relates to whatever you're in now or whatever you're wanting to have. And that's both in relationships and your other Venus sign, sorry, your uh, work, your career. So this month wants to go fast and you're ready, you're preparing. It's just really important, yes, that you know how to keep up the appearance, you know how to keep up who you are, the appearance of who you are. Not just how you look and how you're presenting yourself, it's the appearance, your literal presentation of who you are how you show that to people how you show that to yourself how you show that and how you are in the world around you and a lot of you will be getting recognition this month for who you are and that ego is good for you you already have a pretty solid ego for the most part so anything else that may inflate your ego in a way where decisions can be made not in your favor in the long run, I would just be careful of this month because it's fun. This month is fun and you like having fun before we get to the serious, more dedicated, slower part of your season. And this season's a good time, especially if you're around the right people doing, the, doing what you wanna do. It's a time where there's family involved and you're gonna have there you're gonna come up against parts of you that you've met years ago. Nine of Cups. You just have to realize that you've changed. It's like, I know, I know it sounds crazy, but you have to I think we've talked about this a little bit, and I think because you're so adamant about whatever direction you choose or whatever thought process you choose or whatever it is that you're going for, you're going after, you're so adamant about it. It's not that you change direction often, but when you do, you wanna be sure you're making the right decision. It's very cardinal. And that's what each cardinal sign comes up against. And for you, you just need to settle in the fact that you're different, that you're content, that you're in a really great spot right now and you're not looking to fuck it up. And that's only gonna make the better things in your life move faster, the more recognition you're going to get from the people that you need it from. So don't doubt yourself. Because there will be obviously moments of lull or moments of like, you don't feel maybe exci as exciting as you used to be or this as you used to be. But it's like, you're just really stable and happy. Is that okay? And if you're not, there's a decision that you need to make because for some of you, this is about leaving that structure of what you thought that four of cups seven of cups you thought life was supposed to look a certain way or you thought that this is the way things look so this that this is really this for some of you this is what it used to be you thought this was this now this is this and this is this <laughs> and it's so much easier for you to walk away, but for some reason this month with Venus being in your sign and then the retrograde, and it's gonna be in your sign for a while, a lot longer than normal. There will be this part of you that wants to do 
the thing that's not good for you but really this is just this opportunity to really get it this is what happens when you're finally ready to get to the root of something or heal from a behavior and again it will come up in different ways after this final like oh this is the like the final test if you want to call it you will be given this opportunity very point blank in your life to decide and when you decide that what you've built and who you've become and who you really are is a lot cooler, a lot more beautiful, handsome, um, smarter, more intelligent, works harder, is way better than whoever it was way back when from whoever's coming back into your life or whatever's coming back up into your head. When you see yourself about to go down that road and you decide no, when you're just like, nah. Because you know when you just know, no, or you just know... When you make a decision, it's so clear, right? It's just like, for the most part, it's not hard for you. You're like, no, nope, no, nah, I'm good. Like, you know, you're not really an indecisive person, right? So when this comes up and you feel indecisive, that's when you know you're, come, you're in a spot where that could be the best thing for you, but could also be the worst thing for you. And that's Sagittarius season, you know? So you'll, the fool is that for you. What does freedom look like? Does it look like going back this way or does it look like changing your future like for the bigger and better? Because whatever happened back in the summer is happening now and it start is going to start to take root and play out now. Whatever happened during Gemini, that Gemini and um, excuse me, the eclipse in Gemini season in Gemini season. So now your and your season will be again. <laughs> and I'm going to say this to you because. This is what I want you to look forward to because I know that you guys would prefer to know. You don't really love the consequences, but you like to know before your decisions, right? Your consequences could be being really hard on yourself after the season, when we get to your season, or being really fucking proud of yourself and things move so well because then you're not internalizing everything when you know better. Like, having fun is knowing better now. Having fun is being this version of you now. Like, that's where all this play and this joy and this change comes from. It's from you being the person you've always been without this part of yourself that doesn't believe you're not perfect enough or you're not this enough. No, all of this is, this is for you. The hard work for you is not letting yourself, let it, like, not letting yourself not have it. I don't know why most of you wouldn't want to have it anyway. It's so weird. You have a lot of energy by the end of the month too. A lot of energy. A lot of energy. A lot of energy. <laughs> we'll start here. So... The strength comes from this very grounded nature that you find yourself in, this very prime cardinal earth, you'll come to this point in this month where you'll feel it. You'll feel how Sagittarius season is like, oh, I get that it's the spirit, it's the fire that really brings me to life and everyone thinks I'm dead. Everyone thinks it's like I'm at the after dead, but really I'm what drives everything um I'm, I'm what mixes everything so that there is more there is more to life there is more lusciousness I do all the little the the things that most people don't really care about doing those things make me ex those things are what I like and you're going to feel so much strength in what's opening up for you you're going to feel very capable about what's being op opened up for you now because there's been this whole rebirth not only with your ego mostly with your ego but you're allowing yourself to be just like Sagittarius is to an extent to hear how you give things you're finally meeting people who can give you the same level of energy that you give and it may just be a couple but that's fine because you want people in your life who are here for this version of you. You like to have a good time. You like to get to work. And now you're like, how do I bring this together? And how do I make this my lifestyle without being 
overly extreme where there's everything in between as well and you know how to utilize it now. Scorpio season brought this moment to you, this moment of clarity for some of you really quickly and really sh like maybe even sharply or maybe during before. So Mars just entered Sagittarius, so it wasn't Scorpio and that's very much communication more but let's keep it to the basics of communication so last month you might have really had to face something or face someone and be like listen this is what it is like you need to decide from this or like it was just very sharp refined not held nothing back and because of that you some of you may have a very spiritual experience this month for some of you, this month is going to be extremely spiritual in the physical form. So Venus being in your sign, lots of met, like lots of luck can have like is possible if you believe it, and lots of um, just this month is always magical to me. Sagittarius and Capricorn season, there's something, and I know like people say that about Christmas, and it could be that, but there, even if Christmas wasn't a thing, which I don't, I wouldn't know, but there's just still this feeling about these two months and for you you have a lot of raw magic at your fingertips inside of a more wise person's body and brain and now you have the choice and how to direct it how to move it how to see who you once were and watch yourself change right before your eyes i can cry you are there's an acknowledgement within yourself but also within the world and how it's shaping you shaping the world around you and your body and what you've been through with your own body what you've been through with your own mind where you've had to make the major changes even though knowing that they're good for you knowing you can do it know that you're plenty of capable but there's this one small part of you that just pulls and tucks and that pressure I think the relief of a pressure you didn't know you have is going to be a part of your spiritual experience, some of you. That's just what's coming to me. And this month, you'll probably feel cleaner <laughs> than you've ever felt by the end of this month. I know. More capable than ever. Bottom of the deck. Or capable of speaking up. Remember we talked about how you felt immature. I think that's, we've talked about it. I talked about it with you. But there's this other thing. Don't feel, even if you feel immature in saying something, don't allow that feeling of immaturity stop you from saying something. Just notice how you're saying it. Because when you don't know how to say something, sometimes it comes off like very hard. But people don't know that about you, which is fine. Um, but even just say that, like, I sound hard right now, but it's only because I don't understand. You know, you're just asking to be taught. So you're saying soften. You're saying like, it's so funny because that's what's happening with Sagittarius. So you're like asking for what's happening to them in a different way. Trust me. But it's beautiful as it is. There's a lot you're going to be. The, again, you'll be a focus of attention of certain people in your life, whether it's family in this way that you deserve, in this way that you're. You may not feel it yet because whatever is happening isn't full circle, but by the end of the month it will be. So just be in it. That's the best way I can describe it, Capricorn. I know this is a lot. We'll take a look at the next part and look at the cards so you see what I'm talking about. Because um, there's a lot of cards out. But it all makes sense to what I just said. So all information to work with me one-on-one -on -one is below. And I'll see you in your season. Bye. Hi, Capricorn. <clears throat> so, coming into Sagittarius season, it feels like you, right off the bat, have to make the decision. And you're feeling really good about yourself. And sometimes, without the underlying contentness, without the underlying stability and ease of the situation or whatever it is that you're needing to decide about. It doesn't have to be one or the other. Like you don't have to trade the 
how you feel and how you're feeling about yourself for how you feel internally, like how you look externally and how you feel internally. This doesn't have to be that, but it's up to you to decide that. And it's how you approach the situation that you are feeling like this is weighted in. And first of all, like, why do you feel that way? And it's all from the past because the thing is here is that what you're moving on from or what you're choosing to, what you can choose to move on from, <laughs> much different, is this month is not to doubt your instinct. Not that you do, but again, when you're indecisive, it's because it's a, it's something has got you into your feelings and that's okay. It's where you're, where we all have growth and that's where your growth period point is. And it doesn't have to look bad. Like walking away doesn't have to look like the four of cups, seven of cups, the full magician doesn't have to look like... <clears throat> You're running away from something, you're running into something, running into the past, running into old habits, running into what you thought was real, and then making it not real by how you leave a situation or how you decide to move on from a situation or what you decide to do in general, because that's changing and it's very powerful. You have a very powerful moment here, which can go one way or the other, right? you have a decision to make and it might be in like I said earlier it might be in that pinnacle of the situation where you're about to see this happen and you're like oh wait I'm too smart for this now I'm too quick for this now I'm too steady for this now I'm too sturdy for this now I'm too good for this now I'm too good to act this way granted we're human you're gonna make mistakes it is Sagittarius season but your humanness is seeing that you don't have to give into the moment just because it's presenting itself to you just because that crack is there doesn't mean you have to make it a whole river. And the opening and the ending of a cycle you receive here ends quickly and this, you know, this rebirth happens and look at what, how you're leaving the month. You leave the month feeling extremely capable and probably a part of you is going to feel... <clears throat> so some of you might have this experience... Um, a very spiritual experience by the end of the month and for some of you if it takes you to have to go through the detriment to get there just so you know this month is going to bring you through it so you know you're up to you and who you are and how you decide to choose and how you decide to live but that by the end of the month there's this fine like finally you understand that you're not stuck anymore by the time you get into your season you don't feel a certain feeling that you once felt and I know that's specific, but you you only you can understand it. You know, Capricorns live fully, and then yet there's still this lingering feeling over them. It's, no, like, you're here. You've changed. You're moving. And like I said, I'm saying to the signs, just because you feel immature in an area doesn't mean you can't be there with it. When you accept where you're at, um, it's like schooling. If you, where you accept where you're at and that... that the terms of school. Hold on one second. You can then accept that that's the place that you're learning from. That that's the place that is changing and you embrace that. You become, you stop resisting that it's you that's leading yourself. So when you stop resisting where you're at, because that doesn't matter because that's ego then you recognize that no matter where you're at, you can lead from. No matter where you're at, you can be very good at. It doesn't matter. You can be the best that you are in any stage that you're in. And you might feel a rush of, you know, very quick change here. Look at these cards. The death card, the tower, the judgment and the knight of swords all in one and this is all cutting up this root venus is going to be in your sign for a while for a couple months and it's going to allow you to understand what you really want but it might feel like you might not feel like once a retrograde hits you might not feel like you want it anymore 
So it's really important for you to just be cautious with yourself because you're going to have many of these moments. So this is just kind of like a forecast. And I know that you probably fucking hate that, <laughs> but you'll, it's like you're, you're really, if you're in a relationship, you're really deciding to deepen that or you're deciding that it's not for you and you don't actually know, you know what you want, but it's not here yet. And you're not, you're just not gonna wait around anymore. You're not going to play that old game. You know, because how can anything else come if something else is in the way? And that's the same thing for a job. So career wise, Venus also being in your sign, you may have to go through for some of you, you may have to go through a different <clears throat> a roundabout path. Well, it's not really roundabout. You're learning whatever you need to learn when you go. But you might end up changing a couple of jobs quickly this year for the better. But it's also that you're learning something. You're learning not to doubt your ability to know which direction to go in and when to go, you know? And you're really going to be, you might have that moment. And then again, a lot of it, for a lot of you, it's mental. It's this em emotional mental breakthrough that's coming through this growth, you know? Not all pain is about physical pain. Um, it's not all just in the bones, in the body, um, because in the body is also where we store emotions and that's how we learn to clear space. So just know that you might have a rush of feelings in a way that you haven't felt in a while. You might feel things differently moving forward from this. You may speak differently moving forward from this. This month for you is showing you like, because you, your, your month again could, you know, again, put a lot of pressure on you and make you or you can have intense regret and even though you don't have to keep your head there you probably will or next month can be like your literal map gateway to the year ahead and then you know more so it's really up to you i know it's a lot of pressure but it doesn't have to be capricorn remember how do you how you're feeling and how you're moving is different you're different and you ha it's up to you to understand that, that these cycles, you know, they're heavy once they close. And you're going to feel that rush. But it doesn't mean you go, it, it means you do something like, what do you really want to do with that rush of energy? Right? How can you actually do something with it instead of, you know, rush backward? And you can help. You might have a lot to say in a way where like what no one was expecting it from you but here you are we're ready for it okay thank you so much um i will see you in your season next month and all information to work with me is below